accident reported ahead. Crash, I'm still there. Well, did you start it? What? Well, did you start it? I thought I started it. Mm, no, you didn't. I didn't start it. Yeah, I did. It's right there. Alright. It's right there. Oh, yeah, no. Okay, we're there we go. We're live. Up. Oh, are we? Technical issues. Technical issues, people. Wait, flip it. Okay. How do, how do we look? Uh, you got to zoom out. What? You got to... I got to... Uh, well... I got to zoom out. Patience, people. <laughs> um, just zoom out. Well, no, actually, it's not that bad. It's no, not no, that bad? No, it's fine. It, this is just... Like... <laughs> All right. Can, can we see us at least? This is gonna be. So we're trying uh, something we've never tried before: a live stream while driving. We're heading down to Silver Dollar City tomorrow, and Six Flags St. Louis on Friday. Opening day. Can you see me? Uh, it's, it's like that. Oh, it looks like that. <laughs> well, or get it good. Is that good? better okay. okay so this is uncharted territory for us so we never tried to live stream so we have like this arm that the phone is on and we're trying to get like the widest angle that we can for the live stream and so you can actually see both of us We've got Milo over there yeah I'm reading the chat hello Anne Marie oh what's up Anne Marie how's it going um yeah, so we just wanted to do this special live stream because we're going to, uh, we want to talk about traveling because coaster people love to travel. We all travel to different parks and stuff like that. So we wanted to talk about how uh, you guys like to uh, drive places. Are you guys people that like to fly? Uh, I, I've always found a reason to travel. Back in like the 90s, I was into like, like the hardcore punk music scene. And that was all about traveling to different shows. And I've, then I started traveling to casinos. And he's got traveling in his blood because I like to travel. His mom likes to travel. Yeah. And so going and traveling to amusement parks is just something simple. I'm going to try to fix this a little bit here. There. I might have it a little bit more steady. Can you like bend that down and try to fix that or no? Uh, we got 12 people. Hello, Jerry. Hello, Kevin. Thank you for coming and joining us and keeping us company on this long, boring drive. We've been on the road for a few hours already. We're, we still got five and a half hours left of this drive. We're stopping near St. Louis, getting a hotel, and then driving the the next like three hours to Silver Dollar City in the morning. Then the morning after that, we're, cause then we're getting a hotel by Silver Dollar City. And then Friday morning, driving the three hours back to Six Flags St. Louis. Uh, but we're excited cause this is our first time at both of these parks. Yeah, that'll be cool. I mean, obviously Six Flags St. Louis is the reason for this trip, but Silver Dollar City is a nice little add on park that we can stop at. I hear they have a couple nice little rides there. What? Something funny? No, nothing's funny. So what, uh, like, 
has, has everyone been uh, on some road trips this year yet, or any anyone planning on some road trips? Uh, Milo drives so he can handle the camera just. <laughs> no, neither of us are handling, like, look, my hands, neither of us are handling the camera, they're just on a, they're just on some little arm. Is it staying? You probably don't have to hold it. I'm just trying to keep it down so it's not, like, facing the... Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, Amory said I'm in Denver, so I fly to Ohio. Oh, oh, you live, I never even knew where you lived. Oh, so you, so you live in Denver. Oh, that's nice. So, um, have you heard much about Elitch Gardens moving? Because they're supposed to pick it up and move it, like, out by the airport or something like that. I've technically been to Elitch Gardens. Well, I've been to the front entrance of Elitch Gardens. Because I went to Denver for, like, a day not too long ago. Um, but the Elitch Gardens is not moving. Uh, I think the reason why, Kevin said, I think the reason why the TT2 preview details hasn't been released yet is because Tony is too grumpy. I mean, that could be. <laughs> He's waiting like grumpiness level gets in the way of announcements. So when you have a high level of grumpiness, it stops any sort of announcement from happening. So definitely, as soon as his grump level comes down. I don't know if that'll ever happen, though. I mean, he's got the eclipse event that he's going to have to be at, that he's going to have to deal with all of us. So Yeah, that's, that's his, not going to help. If the off-season hasn't lowered his grump level, then nothing will. Uh, Kevin said he's going to Dollywood next weekend. Oh, nice. The sister park of uh, Silver Dollar going, City. Yeah. yeah, so we'll be like... We'll practically be at the same park. Are you, are you excited for the high-speed lift hill? The very low-speed lift hill where you go like I think it goes, two miles an hour I think it, it goes fairly fast for a lift hill. It's like the beast lift hill. <laughs> uh, Jeroko is here. Hey, guys. What's up? Are both both Drew and Yoko? Is it Jeroko or is it just Dro or Oko? Which, which part? We were just in your guys' part of town. We were just drove uh, down 71 and down and across 270 and we're not even out of Ohio yet. No, Ohio's big. No, yeah, Ohio's too big. We gotta get to Indiana. Uh, Adam, I might be going to Islands of Adventure in SeaWorld Orlando in June. Okay. Flying or driving? Like, everyone's preferred. Does everyone like to drive when they go to the places? Do they prefer planes, trains, or automobiles? That, you, you know, I call I call the live stream trains, planes, or automobiles. So because, which one do you prefer? Yeah, which one do you guys... I've always been a person that likes to drive. But in my older age now, I'll hop on a... I'll gladly hop on a plane and... Or a train, but where we live in the U.S., we don't have any trains, so we can do that. Yeah, we but have... I think, but the train, I think trains would definitely be the best option to travel. Yeah, next time we go to Plopsa Land, then we'll, we'll jump on the train to get there. Anywhere in Europe. Uh, Chuck, I'll rent a car and drive. I plan on doing five parks this year. Cedar Point, multiple times, Six Flags Great America, Michigan's Adventure. Okay, that's a nice that's a nice little set of parks oh, yeah. right there. Uh, we are definitely Kings Island and Cedar Point. Those are our, our two parks. Yeah. We're finally going to do Great America this year because I'm buying the Six Flags Pass to get into uh, Six Flags St. Louis. So we're going to have the was it the Diamond or whatever? We're going to have like the their version of the Platinum Pass. So we'll be able to get into all the Six Flags parks. So we're gonna take advantage of that and hit Darien Lake and, and Great America. Yeah, so that'll be cool. Uh, Amory says that Elish Garden blows. Not worth the money. Uh, but what about it move? Like, has she heard anything <laughs> about it's supposed to move? Because I haven't even heard anything about that. Someone told me about it. Some guy from Denver said that, said that it was supposed to said that it was supposed to move. I haven't heard anything about it. They want to turn the land that they're you that Elitch Gardens is in right now to like apartments and stuff like that. Uh, so where are you going to earlier? We're going to Silver Dollar 
Park City and Six Flags St. Louis. Uh, We're driving across 70 right now, so if any of you guys are on 70, then wave, look for us and say hello, because we're gonna cut through Indianapolis. It's, I don't know, it's like five o'clock now. Hopefully we don't hit rush hour, but Indianapolis, does that even get that much of a rush hour? I don't know. That's a little bit of traffic. Uh, Jerry said he's still working, he's listening on headphones. Oh, thank, thanks for, thanks for stopping in even oh, yeah. while you're working. Don't, don't get yourself fired. <laughs> Uh, Kevin said, I think lightning rod is going to be the same after the hill. The launch will be this long. That, yeah, I heard that it's not a huge difference after, like, after you go down the hill. Because even after you go up the launch, you have the little mini hill that kind of slows you down anyway. Um, yeah, a little bit. So, I don't think that part will be affected that much. The launch was the I just, parts. yeah, I just, I like launches. So... I just like shooting up that hill a lot better than just being dragged up it by a chain. Uh, Adam said, my parents like to drive. I hate driving. Oh, okay. So you'd, you'd prefer to fly or take a train uh, or a horse and buggy or whatever. Kevin said, what do you think the best arms to get Silver Dollar City is going to be? It's a tough one. I mean, obviously fire in the hole. I mean, obviously. I didn't think that was too much of a question. We're... So we're happy because we didn't think that we were going to get on fire in the hole because I thought that the I thought that it was kind of like a, a preview days for like pass holders or stuff and stuff. But I called Silver Dollar City and they said that it's a soft opening, so it's open. And what sense does that make? Like opening, it, it's yeah. open, but the official opening is this Saturday. But it's been open, so a bunch of people have ridden it. And we will hopefully yeah. ride it tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, do you guys think an RMC Raptor would be a good Vortex replacement? No. I don't. I don't like. I just don't see Cedar Fair working with going over bridge. So. Yeah, well, yeah. You guys, you guys are <laughs> getting shaking around a lot. Um, I don't see Cedar Fair really working with RMC too much. Shoulder ahead because it, RMC is pretty unreliable. I think Cedar Fair, the way I always looked at it is Cedar Fair spent all those years working with Intamin, despite Intamin messing up and lying about capacity like on Millennium and having issues and safety issues like on Shoot the Rapids. And I think once there was an issue with Steel Vengeance and Twisted Timbers, and Railblazer with like the wheels were all like there was issues with the wheels on the on the Raptor. Um, I think Cedar Fair kind of said, "Hey, you know what? We're not going down that road again." But I think they will work with RMC again at some point. But yeah, RMC but needs to. They need to figure it out. And also, just even even so, a Raptor is small. That plot of land where Vortex was is huge. Yeah. Well, it could fit a Raptor. Stuff, yeah, guess. yeah, you could, yeah, you could fit like three Raptors in, in that spot. Like Raptors are pretty tight knit and compact, so I want to see something a little bit more sprawling. Plus, Kings Island is all about capacity. They love their high capacity rides, and Raptors just aren't as high capacity. Uh, Amory said in July doing the trifecta uh, shine down concert at Ohio State Reformatory tour of oh. OSR and Kings Island. Okay, so they're having a concert like at the. We went to we went to the haunted house at the Ohio State Reformatory. They have a not like where it's supposed to be like really haunted, but we went where they have like the Halloween haunted house and that where they have actors in there and stuff. We did a vlog for it, yeah. blood blood prison vlog. Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah, it was it was a good a good haunt. Um, but yeah, doing a concert there that's interesting. Uh, let's see. Uh, Foot Michigan Gaming stopping by to say hi and drop a like and support. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Always always appreciate. You're always 
stopping in the comments section and the, on the videos. So totally appreciate that. Jacob does everything. I got on Velocicoaster, definitely my number one. Velocicoaster's up there. That oh, thing, sure. that thing's amazing. Like it's there's not there's not a bad there's not a bad part on Velocicoaster. No. From the moment you step into the queue with all the theming to the time you get off. So that that is that is about as perfect of a ride as you can get. Uh, William, I was at Cedar Point 20 plus times last year, and can't believe I didn't run into you. Hopefully this year. Yeah, we're there. We're there, and you'll find us moping around at some point, looking looking for uh, looking for Tony Clark to ask him why he doesn't invite us to media events. Uh, are you guys excited for Top Thrill too? Very excited. Yeah, I, I think I think it's getting a lot of hate. Like it seems like, but what I say is that when you shoot backwards at a hundred miles per hour, hundred and one miles per hour, hundred and one, and then go up like three hundred and fifty feet in the air, up straight backwards up a spike, that's going to be a sensation that you have not felt before. And it's going to be very unique and amazing. Except for Escape from, Escape from Krypton. Well, yeah. Which is pretty much the same. Well, yeah. But, but, so but we didn't ride that because it was closed yeah, when we were at Magic close. Mountain. We've only been to Magic Mountain once. So as long as you haven't ridden that or Tower of Terror that was in Australia, then, then uh, you probably haven't felt anything like that. Amory, $20. Oh, Amory. Chat. Thank you so much. That's... Helping, helping us out, getting us, getting us to Silver Dollar City here, getting us on this trip. Yes, thank you. Uh, let's see, what else? Do you think Top Thrill Two will have a ride or height limit? Every roller coaster has some sort of height limit. Top Thrill Two will probably just be around the same as the other ones, like six five or whatever it is. Oh, like oh, so as like the height that you could be so you can't be a oh like wasn't the last one like six seven something like that i think i think top thrill dragster was six seven i'm not a hundred percent sure uh millennium has has it top thrill had it. i can't remember all the coasters that that have it but they all have them they i can't. thought i thought pretty much all of them have to have it at I mean, you Something. can't be like a hundred feet tall. Like you can't be like a, oh yeah, a giant. But I don't know. I've only seen them on select coasters, so I don't know if every coaster has a a height limit. Uh, Kevin said I gotta hop off, safe travels, and have fun. Oh, uh, thanks a lot for stopping in, Kevin. We'll definitely see you at like opening day and stuff like that. So curious at how long you're planning on being live for, probably. I, like, I don't know, maybe like an hour or so, because this is kind of difficult. Like, we weren't really sure how this would work. But Milo has his, like, left arm, like, holding the little... It's not too bad. It's not bad? Okay. Yeah. Like, it's it's holding this arm, and the phone is, like, propped up right in the middle of the car, and it's, it's kind of uh, awkward. It's, it's not... definitely a little awkward, but it works enough. We wanted to use you guys to pass our time on the trip. So we're totally using you guys. Because we're That's like a long drive. we're like we have a long drive. And like we like to play games. Like we listen to music. We have a Sirius XM so we, we like road trip radio. And then we play this game where one of us will guess a coaster and the other one has 15 questions to answer it. So, like, since we know what we've ridden, we'll be like, okay, have we ridden it? Uh, yes, okay, blah, blah, and we'll, so we'll do that kind of stuff. What do you guys like to do on, on road trips? If you guys are driving or whatever, or flying, I assume you guys just watch movies or whatever, but let us know what you guys like to do on road trips. But what else are people? Uh, Bengals are Browns fans. We live in Cleveland, so definitely Browns fans. Browns? Uh, single 
Bull Rider uh, line cut the 80 minutes to a 40 minutes, uh, Jacob said, so probably about Velocicoaster. Oh, I I just read online that like some of the single rider lines were getting like nearly as long as as the regular line. And we saw that. Like last time we were at Islands of Adventure in January, late January. And we didn't go in the single rider line. We bought the express pass. But uh we saw the single rider line and it was it was getting kind of big at times. Oh uh, sometimes it got longer, sometimes it wasn't. But if it cuts your time in half, then it it, it does it does the job. Uh uh, saw Milo in last August with your mom. Probably, uh, probably. Yeah, yeah if it wasn't if it wasn't with me, it would probably yeah, be with. Because he goes sometimes with his mom. Did you hear that King's Dominion is closing Grand Prix recently? Uh, what their their go karts or whatever? Uh, uh, bumper cars. Is it their bumper cars? Oh, they don't have go-karts? No. I don't know. We were at King's Dominion last year, around this time, probably. And, uh, yeah, I didn't I didn't really pay any attention. But, no, I didn't really hear anything about, about any closures or anything like that at King's Dominion. Pretty interesting if it's like a, if they're like a big plot, like a big plot of land or whatever. Guys, gonna be at CP May 9th through 11th. Mm, let's out. see, opening. I mean, ahead. probably. We don't really have specific days that we're at Cedar Point. Like we go for opening day, and then we just kind of. We we live less than an hour away from yeah, Cedar Point. So we just kind of we don't have a schedule or whatever where we go. So we just kind of go whenever. So maybe. So we've, we've gotten season-long fast lanes at Cedar Point for, we got them in August of 2020, and have had them ever since. And since then, we just go whenever. We'll go on Saturdays, we'll go, it doesn't matter. But back before we were getting like season-long fast lane, before it existed, we always went on every Wednesday. Remember, we'd go every single Wednesday? Yeah. And we'd go for early entry and get, when Steel Vengeance was on early entry and stuff like that, we get Maverick, whatever, Millennium, Steel Vengeance, and we get some rides and then ride some smaller things. So it was every Wednesday back then, but now we're there all the time. So, I mean, there's a good chance if it's a few day period, then we might be there. Look, we're, we're, leaving, we're leaving Ohio now. Wait, I gotta... I gotta take a picture of Come that. back soon, the heart of it all. I gotta find the uh, Indiana sign to take a picture Oh yeah, we need the Indiana sign. We're, we're venturing into Indiana. I don't know where the Indiana sign is. I don't know, I mean, we just left Ohio, so what are we in, like, are we in Sweden? Or are we in neutral? We're in, yeah, we're in neutral now. We're in neutral land. Where's the sign? I need to take a picture of the Indiana Look, Shelton, Shelton Fireworks. Oh, oh Indiana State Line. There it is. There it is. Hold on, everyone. I gotta take a picture. Apparently, it went. As we passed into Indiana. So, New State finally Ohio. Took a while, but we are out. Uh, travels from Raymond. What's that? Raymond's a safe travel. Oh, thanks. Uh, Adam, have you been to Bush Gardens Tampa yet? Yes, we have. We have been there. And it's a really nice park. We went there, right? Not too long after Iron Gwazi ended up opening up, right? No, no, it was pretty soon after. Yeah, it was our old time at the park. Uh, yeah, we were waiting for us. Yeah, we were waiting for Iron Gwazi to open up. We have most parks that we've gone to, we have vlogs. If you look in our playlist, we have we have a, a vlog playlist, and uh, all except for some of the ones that we did like years ago, like 2018 and stuff, right. we weren't there, really we vlogging. Don't, we don't have a vlog from every park we've been to, but we have for a lot. Yeah. Yeah, like.
like we don't have one for Knott's Berry Farm, Magic Mountain, stuff like that. But uh, but a lot of them within the past few years, most of the parks within the past few years, we have the logs for. Them. Uh, let's see, Knott's, someone said Knott's is home park. Also, a season fast flight coming from LA. Nice. Cedar Point, 9th or 11. Member chiming in. Thank you for being a member. Always appreciate you guys. Oh yeah. Uh, Adam said, "What is your favorite being in Inverness? What's your favorite being in Inverness?" It's. I'm gonna say Banshee. Montu is. You're gonna say Montu. Montu is right up there, but I think Banshee just by a little bit. I like Montu. I liked Banshee and then started to not like it, and then I do like it again. So I really like it, but Montu is definitely my favorite. Montu is fantastic, and I knew a lot of people said that it was like one of the best inverts of riding, and it was like, this is really good. I'm not even like a big fan of inverts. I don't, yeah, I don't like inverts. Like, but Montu is great, really good. Great Bear is terrible. Oh. Um, Alpengeist. Geist. Alpengeist is... For whatever reason, you cannot say Alpengeist. I say it well enough. I say it well enough so the people know what I'm talking about. Alpengeist at Bushard. Alpengeist. I'm uh, not a big fan of that. Batman at like Great Adventure and Magic Mountain wasn't that good. Talon isn't bad. Uh, at Carowinds... Uh, Names of coasters miss me. What's the one at Carowinds? Afterburn. Afterburn. Afterburn is good. If it doesn't give me head banging, then I think it's I think it's pretty decent. Yeah, mine too. No head banging. It's intense, but not like doesn't make you sick at all, which for whatever reason some inverts do. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, moments but I think overall it'll be it'll be a lot lot better. Oh yeah for sure. My personal our personal opinion. Yeah. Hopefully we're right. Are you using cruise control? Am I using cruise control yes. right now? Um I am not. I was using cruise control. Yeah, to know. Um I can use cruise control and my car has like a the lane so I can push a button and then I don't even have to use my hands. It's no Tesla, well, but it no, it's not. It's not. It no, it's not self-driving, but it well. it's got the little cameras that keeps you in the in the lanes and stuff like that. So it's kind of scary to do, though. I, I don't know how people drive self-driving cars. Like people that yeah, like, are, like fall asleep. Yeah, they're taking naps and stuff. I wouldn't trust that. Like that's crazy. But you could get to think of all the amusement parks you could get to. Just put your Tesla and just have it uh, drive you to different amusement parks, and then you just sleep, and then you're wide awake whenever you get to the amusement park. Jerry, fifty dollars super chat. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. That that's that's uh, that is a huge. That means a lot. That means a lot to us. Uh, yeah, it really does. 
and you are going to be at the eclipse of that, right? Wait, wait for him to respond. And he did ask a question. How many new credits are you looking for this trip? This, this trip, um, we, we added it up, right? Yeah, we counted a little bit. I think probably like 14 or 15? 14, 15, 15, 15 14. 16 at the most, I think. Probably like 14, 15, something like that. Because it's going to be opening day of Six Flags St. Louis. So, fingers crossed that a lot of stuff is open. Because at that point, with these opening days, it's like, oh, God, like, is everything going to be open or not? Oh. But fingers crossed that that uh, everything is open and we get as many credits as possible because he's already passed 200. He's hoping to hit 250 this year. Yeah. I'm uh, far behind. I'm not that far behind. I'm hoping to hit 200 on this trip. Yeah. This trip should be beat by 200. Uh, Jerry, yes, he's going to the Eclipse. Yeah, find find us because we got we got a, a wild mouse, we got a gatekeeper ride to get on with each other. So and we're all going to be confined into like that little part of the park. Yeah, we're just going to be in one part. So. so we should be easy to find. So I wonder if it's wonder how crowded it's going to be. Probably not that bad. I don't think it's going to be that crowded. No, like they haven't it sold. Be too bad. It is Cedar Point, so everything's going to be like way too crowded. And I think I told I think I told Jerry before in a, I think in a comment section or something like or something I, I said look for us at the eclipse event yeah. because it'll be a small intimate little uh, gathering of people oh, yeah. with only a couple of coasters but we'll be spending most of our time at Gatekeeper Max Air a couple of wild mouse rides probably can't wait for it that's only that's only like a week a week and a half away that's hard to believe like we're going to be in cedar point in about a week and a half yeah cool. like right now this point kind of really sets off coaster season for us because we're going to this then in a week and a half we're doing uh the eclipse event at cedar point then we're going to have just like a couple weeks after that we're going to have uh, king's island passholder preview day and opening day. The week after that, we're hoping to hit Kennywood. And then the week after that, Cedar Point opens up. And then it just flows from there. So, we're, so yeah, we still look like, pretty closer to this year, but this is like the official start where we start getting in like a real groove and starting to go to Yeah, parks. we were in Florida yeah. earlier this year, but that wasn't the official kickoff to Coaster season. Yeah. Vengeance, you just had to reserve a spot and you got to choose one of the three days because Steel Vengeance was three days, just like Top Girl 2 is three days. And uh, and you went on, and I forget because I ended up not going because I got sick, so he went with his mom. But if I remember correctly, because that was a while ago already, that was six years ago now. If I remember correctly, you had to put in your like pass number and register for, for one specific day. And hopefully, hopefully on Tuesday, Top Thrill Tuesday is when they'll announce it. Because that will be about a month out and Cedar Point seems like they like waiting till about a month away to do some of these things. I don't know, it's just a theory. They gotta say something at some point though. I mean, yeah, I'll, yeah, eventually unless April 30th will come and they won't say anything and everyone will be like, mm. they're like, just kidding, no no pass holder preview day for you guys. And Tony, I hope that no one asks what PHP stands for. Oh my because god, yeah! Tony doesn't know, so your phone doesn't know what he knows. That will the C, what was it, CP PHP 2024? Yeah. Who remembers that out there? Who, like, remembered, yeah. like, the, the number and it was, like, the numbers and the letters and all that? Project High Point, Project Horsepower, all the all the theories, but never 
or pass holder preview. PHP pass holder preview. Yeah, if you're off for if you're off work for two of them, then you'll be able to get one of them. I don't think you'll be able to go to two. I don't think they'll let that. I, I can't say for sure, but 99% sure they won't let any of us do two. Definitely not. Yeah, we are not allowed to do any of them. Here, here, but but if you're off work for two of the days, then then you're in good shape. You'll be able to get you'll be able to get one of the two with with ease. We're hoping, we're hoping to do the first one. We're hoping to do April 30th. Let's see, where are we? Yeah, I don't know. We're, we're in southern Indiana. Uh, yeah, southern Indiana. Oh, like middle of Indiana. Indianapolis is in the middle. Oh, we're in the middle? Yeah. Okay. Indianapolis is in the middle. The south. Well, know. we're not in Indianapolis. Well, yeah, but we're going to go through it. I just drive. I don't look at maps. I drove across country. Who remembers those big old, like, Walmart, like, road atlases? They were, like, like literally, like, a foot big. They were huge. I drove across country from Cleveland to Seattle to San Francisco and back with one of those things. So, you young kids wouldn't be able to do that nowadays. Yeah, that would. It's getting warm. It's only 47 degrees outside. And I'm warm. I'm warm. I'm turning on the air. JC Keefe said Indiana highways are so horrible to many bumps and potholes, as you probably see the camera bouncing around. Yeah. From all the bumps that we are driving over right now. Do you live in Indiana, Chief Keefe? Are you uh, are you an Indiana person? started late because he takes a Spanish class and he didn't want to miss any of his Spanish class and get behind so we had a go to, he had well he had to go to it and I sat there like basically outside the room waiting for him to get out and then we hit the road because usually I'm the type of person that likes to get up and like if I have like a long seven, eight, nine hour drive. I like to get started as early as possible. I mean, five, five, six o'clock in the morning is what I like to do. Five, that five seems a little too much, I think. I don't know, I left really early, like five, six, to go on a road trip, and then also like going to Toronto, left at like two, so. Toronto's only like five hours though, so. <laughs> Yeah, we've like yeah, we've driven through. We've driven going to Chicago yeah. a lot. Yeah, I've I've been to Chicago many times. Fifty six miles. Uh he would semis block all the way to go to the same speed on the turnpike. Oh my god. Oh Yeah, the I know I know I know we probably have some truck drivers that watch our channel, but truck drivers, you guys gotta pick one lane. You guys all gotta coordinate be like which lane should we be in the right lane and let all of us fly past you on the left we got 23 people in right now okay what's going on everybody going like, on, everyone. everybody feel free to yeah, jump in comment. the chat and comment talk about talk about road trips talk about what you got because we wanted to make this more about you guys than us this, this live, this live is about you guys. This isn't about us. This is about you guys. You guys, anybody going on any trips or anything? Yeah, I'm talking about what you guys enjoy. Do you guys play games while you're in the car? Driving to Chicago, driving to wherever. Just blast some music. Uh, look, speaking of trucks, that two trucks get in. Like that's just literally what just happened now. Truck drivers hauling in at like 3, uh, 3 a.m. when I have to do almost 100 to keep up with them. Oh man, yeah, that's yeah, when they got the roads themselves. Like, 
They're not doing a hundred right now. No. Yeah, we're behind two trucks right next to each other. Just like talking about. Yeah, this is going to be my uh, first time in Indianapolis. I've seen it from a plane. Did someone ask about that? Or? No, no. Oh, okay. no. Yeah, people are uh, if people are watching and keeping quiet. Come, come and chat. We come and join the conversation. We, yeah, we we like to. I would say that we travel in a mixture. We we fly to like Orlando and stuff like that. We've driven to Dollywood a few times. Now Silver Dollar City, Carowinds, Kings Dominion. If it's within like eight, nine hour drive, we'll knock it out. Silver Dollar City is a 12 hour drive from Cleveland, but we're breaking it up into two days. Driving nine hours today and then three hours in the morning. Yeah, because 12 is a lot to drive. And I can confirm Indiana roads are horrible. Said. Yeah. Well, we're all bagging on Indiana right Speaking now. Speaking of Indy, uh, TJ B2 said hi, guys. Indy here. Oh, Indy in the house. We're 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 ragging on your freeways. Apparently, cover your ears. You don't want to hear all this anti-Indiana freeway talk. Though right now we're on Route 70 and our or I-70, I should say. And it's smooth. It's not bad. So a lot better than 90. Though I haven't driven from Cleveland to Chicago in probably almost 10 years. So. Has been that long. <sighs> well, no, I guess I went more recent. So yeah, yeah you, you yeah, want more recent. It, yeah, yeah. it, it might be, yeah, it might be close to 10 years. But that's going to change this year when we go to Six Flags Great America, finally. That's been the park that we've tried to go to the most that has failed every single time. One reason or another, it has just failed. Yeah, I've been trying to go for a while. Never could. Ever since 2019, I think 2019 was the first time that we're like, okay, let's go. And then we were going to go later in the year and then something happened. We had to push stuff back. And then we ended up doing Dollywood in November. And that was the first time that we went to Dollywood in 2019. Right? Yeah. yeah. I, I thought so. so. Yeah. Is that the first year of 18? Because we went 19. 18, 19, and 20? No. No, we went 19, yeah. 20, yeah. 21. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm thinking about doing my first mountain slash terrain coaster Alpine in Branson. Coaster. Or, yeah, Alpine, whatever. Whatever you want to call mountain it. Slash Alpine coasters. Yeah, yeah. terrain coasters. I'm thinking about doing my first one here in Branson. I've done two. Tomorrow. Smoky Mountain Alpine Coaster and uh, Goats on the Roof. Goats on the Roof. Yeah, you did those, and I didn't do them for whatever reason. Uh, They're really cool, though. I like how long the woods will take. It'll take like five minutes, but you're just slowly going up in the woods. It's really quiet. Uh, Roller Coaster Fanatic, where are they heading? We are heading to Silver Dollar City and Six Flags St. Louis. We're going to be going to uh, the Roller City tomorrow. Six Flags St. Louis on Friday for their opening, opening day. day. Yeah. Um, Six Flags Great America, best Six Flags park I've been to. Yeah, or, I or Great. Or a great adventure, great adventure. Okay. I, don't, I never know how people, uh, SFGA, because I think great adventure is SFGRA or something, I don't know. Yeah, it, it's, Six yeah. Six Flags Great America, uh, it's the best Six Flags park I've been to. They may not have a standout coaster, but there is, but their whole lineup is good. Uh, yeah, they kind of have a top story. Well, they might be talking about Great America then, not, because Great yeah, Adventure. Yeah, no, no, that's why I said Great America. Oh, they are talking about Great America? Yeah, that's right. So, 
Look, it, look, it looks like, yeah, like what you said, like no standout, like Goliath looks good. And yeah, but they have, but they have. Max Force looks really good. And, and yeah, Raging, uh, Raging Ball is supposed to be yeah, Raging really good Ball. in the background. So we're looking, and, and tons of coasters, obviously. Like, what do they got, like 15 or something? Like or 17. Oh, they got 17? 16, 17, something like that. Uh, besides Fire in the Hole, what coaster are you most excited for? Uh, the coaster that we are most excited for for the trip would probably be Time Traveler. It's, yeah, it, it's Time Traveler yeah, for me yeah, because um, just, there's only two mock extreme spinners. And while this is the definitely the lesser of the two, it's still supposed to be really good. So yeah, definitely uh, Time Traveler, Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze looks good. I'm interested in the boss because so many people 